channel. So today I'm gonna be trying out some Dollar Tree food items. I'm just gonna get going with it. Kasori sent me a conventional oven slash air fryer. It is sitting behind me right now. I will show you a little about little bit about that in a minute. But I have so many Kasori products and I love every single one of them. So I was super excited that they contacted me and wanted me to try this out again. They sent this to me for free. I'm reviewing it, I'm showing you how it works and testing it out and letting you guys know what I think of it. And I'm also gonna let you know what I think of these Dollar Tree food items. Like, should you buy them? Should you not buy them? Are they gonna make me puke? I don't know, but uh, we're gonna find out. So this is the Kasori CO130A0 toaster oven with air fryer, dehydrator, pizza oven, and a rotisserie, like a roaster. It has 12 in one presets. You can do bake, broil, and it comes with everything you would possibly need with this. So it comes with recipes, the accessories that include your crumb tray, air fryer basket, food tray, wire rack, rotisserie fork set, and rotisserie handle. So it comes with everything you possibly need. It is so nice. Kasori always has like the best high quality products. I recommend almost every single one that I have. I don't want to say almost every single. I would definitely recommend every single one that I have. I have so many products from them. So if you guys want to see links to those, I will leave everything in the description box below of everything I have reviewed from Kasori. The air fry basket is so stinking cute because it doesn't even look like an air fryer basket. And then right here is just the crumb tray that goes along the bottom. And then this is where you cook everything. So this is like your little grill. So here's me, quick trip to the Dollar Tree. Um, we couldn't film very long in here, so it's fast and easy because we were told we are not allowed to film at the Dollar Tree. So never heard of that before, but but here we are picking out the goods for the oven. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be making is homemade pizzas. I found this ultra thin pizza crust. You get two of them. This is by Golden Home Bakery Products. Found some Hormel pepperoni, name brand. None of this is expired. I did check, everything expires in 2020, so we are good. And then this wonderful pantry essential pizza sauce. So I haven't tried any of this stuff, obviously probably these. I don't even think I buy name brand, even at like my store. Let's whip up these pizzas real quick. The cool thing, all right, the super cool thing about this, here's my baking tray, so I'm just throwing my pizzas on here. And I'm gonna plug this bad boy in, which I already have. Check out this amazing little list here. So it has toast, bagels, pizza, roast, air fry, broil, cookies, rotisserie, dehydrator, like all kinds of super cool stuff. So you just take this little thing, this little thing, this little knob right here, and you just go down the aisle, or go down the list. I have going up, pizza, 15 minutes. And then you push the start button and it preheats your oven for you. Let's get to making dollar store, dollar tree pizzas. Okay, I try to fit both of these on here. All right, this is all right. This is okay. I like this. It smells nice. Thinking of taking a break, shutting it down to refresh. Honey, it's all for the better. Oh no. To spit it out to my face. They were only in there for a couple. The crust is hard. It's kind of burnt around the edges. It's not even burnt on the bottom. I don't know, but it starts stinking. So I took everything out because everything was kind of stinky. So I don't know if this is like 100% done. The crust is just hard. So, bon appetit. All right, Dollar Tree pizza. And by the way, if you guys are wondering why I didn't use a Dollar Tree cheese, is because one, I didn't want to kill myself today. But two, I've actually tried the Dollar Tree cheese before and it doesn't melt. 
at all. Like not even a little bit. So I don't know what's wrong with it, but that's why. Mmm. <coughs> Yeah? Want some? Oh. Okay, so the crust is gross, but the sauce is super good, the cheese is really good, and the middle is not hard. It's just around the edges. So, I'll give this a three out of 10. And the three is because I use my own cheese, but the sauce really isn't that bad. Although it does have chunks in it, so it kind of reminds me of spaghetti sauce more than like pizza sauce. I don't know what the chunks are. And I'm not gonna dig in and find out. I wanna say it's onion, maybe tomato. Not sure. But okay, the next thing that I'm preparing for is to make fried pickles. So I picked up this seasoning. It's like breadcrumbs. Obviously, it's time seasoning. So I picked up this breadcrumb type. I don't know. And then some kosher spirit pickles right here. Um, two bucks. Okay, you know, two dollar fried pickles, that's cheap. Winging this guys, winging it. Yes, I can look on Pinterest for recipes, but no thank you. Just wanna do it on my own. It's just a self-reviving thrift. Swarm around my head, look the way he goes. Buzzing like All right, so I'm gonna be using the air fryer basket. It's just like, it looks like a tiny little rack, but it kind of has like grooves in it. So it's technically a basket. So this is cool. So far, I'm having a pretty good time. These pickles are disgusting, but I'm thinking maybe when they're cooked, they won't be as bad. Okay, here's the opening of the breadcrumbs. These smell like breadcrumbs, so we're winning there, I guess. Don't use too much. I wonder if you even really need to. Let's just try this. I'm thinking you might not even need an egg. I don't know. What? Yeah. Okay, here's my pickle without um, egg. Let's try that. Just seeing how much better it actually does. Okay, well, yeah, that makes it a whole lot better. Just keep on dipping all these bad boys in here. I'm only gonna do a couple. Gonna put my pickles in. They look just delicious. I'm gonna do air fry gonna be throwing these guys in these are like chicken strips and they smell actually really good but that's what they look like that's what they look like we're gonna put these in the air fryer part two along with the fried pickles if you guys don't have an air fryer they are amazing this is even cooler because it's an oven and an air fryer you can cook on here you can put your nuggets on here yeah, uh, Put your mac and cheese on there, Presley said. Probably whatever you want. Shove these in. No, it's preheating, but it is already getting warm in there. Oh. That is, that's not a nice view. So let's just, voila, there we have it. Okay, get those popping. Thinks that he's my hero. Thinking of taking a break, shutting it down to refresh. Honey, it's all for the best. Okay, so now I am trying the chicken nuggets and the pickles. And the pickles actually smell really, really good. And they don't even look, actually they look pretty decent, I think. So that's what it looks like. When you use breadcrumbs, like I would much rather use like some kind of like Drake's batter or something for these. But we're gonna try them out right now with ranch. And I didn't buy any dollar store ranch because, well, we already have some for one. And well, we talked about, you know, wanting to make it through another day. So I'm gonna try the pickles first. Cheers. The breadcrumbs have like zero seasoning, although it's supposed to have like a ton of seasoning. It has like tons of stuff, but it just tastes very bland. It's not the worst thing I've ever had. And then the, um, what is this? The skin on the pickles. It like is super chewy and it's hard to break. Like this right here, like you take a bite and it's like not coming apart. I don't know, but hmm, I don't know. It's kind of a disappointment there. I'm gonna try this one. I'll try one more. But on a good note, since we are talking about this boy, bad boy back here, it gets done super, super fast. 
And it said the air fryer is supposed to go for like 25 minutes when you just like set the regular time. It takes like half the time. Here's the chicken nuggets. Yeah, honey? Okay, so yeah, so it takes half the time to cook these. I'm gonna try the chicken nuggets. They almost smell like, like banquet chicken nuggets. I don't know, I think the banquet chicken nuggets are actually good because I can almost, like I'm not gonna try another one of those. Pickles, would not buy from Dollar Tree. Like just, I'm just letting, just don't buy them. So whatever brand I bought, don't. My chicken nuggets leave a really nasty taste in your mouth, but they're crispy and they're good. Like, and they're, you know, I mean, they're cooked. So A plus on the oven and slash air fryer. But yeah, you guys, so my thoughts so far on this oven um, is awesome, really. Like, I think it's awesome. I love how easy it is to use. And it, um, it automatically will preheat whatever setting you go to. So if you're like, well, obviously you're probably not gonna be making as many things as I am like in one shot, but it will automatically preheat it for you or you can just bypass it by pressing like the start button again. And then at the bottom, you can change the time and the temperature. There's a function, you can do Celsius or Fahrenheit. You can even turn the light on if you wanna see what's inside your oven. So that's kind of cool. So there's a little light right here, and then you can see. That's neat. There's also a fan, which is probably a good thing because it's super hot up here. The top is very, very hot. I've never had one of these before, but I know my mom has had something similar. Um, yeah, I've never had one of these before, so I didn't know that the top gets really, really hot, um, but there is a fan, so if it does get stuffy in here, voila, my stove doesn't even have that, so. Okay, now I'm going to try my um, Red Baron deep dish pizza. So this one is pepperoni, just pepperoni. This one is a Supreme. These are good. Like I said, they're name brand, so I don't see why they'd be bad. Sorry for showing my mouthful, but these are good. The crust is so crispy, but it's not burnt. So crispy, so good. And this took like 10 minutes. I think it was like 10 minutes. Oh, baby ones. I know they're little, but it said 25 minutes on the package if you put it in an oven. At least I have something for dinner. Okay, and the very last thing we're gonna be making is these pork loin riblets. Woo! Um, it just says you preheat your oven or turn your oven on at 300 degrees, roll it in a tin foil, and cook it for an hour. This thing is so fast. These pizzas that it's gonna take 25 minutes, and it took like 10. And they're a little crispy and a little burnt, but like I'm okay with that. But that's just insane of how fast this thing actually works. Like half the time is your recipe. So I'm gonna take tin foil that I got from the Dollar Tree. Roll these bad boys up. guys I have a ton of stuff over here because I'm doing something fun in a different video but I just bought everything at once oh my god oh I'm not kidding you guys this is what it looks like uh, is it, I'm almost ew and it's like dripping in water and these are really thought out I don't think okay I'm going to I'm gonna do it this much I don't eat pork so I don't know if you like dip it in sauce but we're not doesn't taste that bad, but it doesn't look right, I don't think. I'm not really sure. Sorry, I have like the zoom on and I didn't feel like. Okay, I think I'm gonna, <laughs> don't buy this at the Dollar Tree. I don't even know why I just ate that. I feel like really sick to my stomach just because I just ate that right now. Um, But yeah, you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Let me know some weird items or some good items that you tried at the Dollar Store. And I'm not talking about name brand stuff. I wanna know if there's any like straight up Dollar Tree food items that you have tried that are actually really, really good. Cause like I said, I get a ton of name brand products at the store, fruit, snacks, cereal, et cetera, et cetera, chips, whatever. But um, I wanna know straight up Dollar Tree stuff. Have you tried any of it? Do you like any of it? And um, 
yeah, let me know that in the comments below. Also, thank you, Chrisori, for sending this to me. If it wasn't for them, I would not be able to make this fun little video for you. And that is it. I'll see you next one. Bye! Okay, and by the way, I do have water running, but this is the little tray that holds all the crumbs, and it held the majority of them. And look at that. It's just wiping right off. That's amazing. Look at that. Just my crumbs. As for this, I think I'm just going to wipe it down um, with hand towel, and it's good to go. That's so awesome. For real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you really like it? Mm-hmm. I love it.